going on? Welcome to the Coney Chemistry video. I'm so glad you are here. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you. I am a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care. And today we are talking about how to unclog the scalp, unclog the follicles for longer, healthier hair. I want to share the science behind this and also what are some common signs to look for and the best methods to actually achieve longer hair by detoxing the scalp. Okay, you guys know I don't waste no time. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so when it comes to our scalp, our scalp is made up of different layers, but in this video, I wanna focus on the stratum corneum, and that is the outer protective layer of our scalp. Now, this layer actually helps to keep moisture in while protecting our scalp from bacteria, pollutants, and of course, excessive dryness. Now, when we have heavy products on our scalp or we have a lack of shampooing, this actually compromises this layer, which can then lead to dryness, inflammation, irritation, blocking of the follicles, and ultimately, slowing down hair growth. So what are some common signs you need to do a scalp detox? The first sign is going to be dryness and flakiness and this is usually caused by lack of shampooing or even having underactive sebaceous glands. The second sign is going to be excessive buildup or oiliness on the scalp and this can be caused by product buildup of course and frequent washing. Another sign is dandruff and irritation which is linked to fungal growth, the pH being off balance on the scalp and also clogged follicles. And the last Last major sign is going to be slower hair growth and thinning. If you're noticing this, it could be blocked follicles, it could be lack of blood circulation to the scalp, and also scalp inflammation as well. Now when it comes to different methods to detox your scalp, the first method is going to be the most common method is going to be using a hydrating shampoo once a week or once every other week. You want to look for shampoos that have ingredients like sodium C14, C16, olefin sulfonate, cocomino pulpal betaine, and even sodium lauryl methyl isothionate. These are very gentle cleansing surfactants. They're not harsh on the hair or the scalp at all. So looking for these surfactants would be really ideal for a hydrating shampoo. And also consider clarifying your scalp once a month. Look for shampoos that may have like charcoal within it, the K18 um, charcoal peptide prep shampoo up here, or even using apple cider vinegar rinses. And this is gonna help to remove deep buildup without compromising the scalp barrier. And definitely use my hydrating herbal hair tea rinse to help support a healthy scalp. My tea contains green tea and figure Greek marshmallow root, peppermint, rosemary, just to name a few, packed full of antioxidant vitamins and amazing nutrients for your scalp. Another way to detox your scalp, especially if you have a very oily scalp, like overactive sebaceous glands, or maybe you work out multiple times throughout the week and you don't want to wash your hair like multiple times throughout the week, you can always opt for witch hazel. I always recommend the Thayer's or Thayer's rose water witch hazel, which is up here. This is a great way to remove excessive oil and sweat naturally off the scalp while also maintaining moisture and maintaining the pH of the scalp as well without disrupting that scalp barrier, the shine party. But you can use this method by applying witch hazel to a cotton pad and just lightly patting it on your scalp in between your wash days to keep your oil levels in check. Another form of detoxing the scalp and unclogging the scalp is going to be exfoliation. Now exfoliation is more so removing the dead skin cells off of the scalp because this buildup can also lead to clogged follicles and of course disrupting your hair growth cycle. Now in this case, you can use different like scalp treatments that contain glycolic acid or salicylic acid to give you a nice, almost like a natural exfoliating gentle cleanse, like a liquid chemical cleanse, very gentle, not harsh at all. Or or you can use a physical scalp brush to physically exfoliate the dead skin cells off of your scalp and you can use this while you're shampooing your hair and this can be done once a week or once every other week now the next step of detoxing your scalp is going to be nourishing and replenishing your scalp now just like our skin that needs vitamins and nutrients for it to thrive the same thing applies to our scalp and you can do this by doing scalp massages with nutrient rich oils now personally i don't recommend heavy heavy oils on the scalp on a regular basis but instead some lightweight options are going to be hemp seed pumpkin seed, and even jojoba oil. Jojoba oil matches our scalp's natural oil, the sebum. The second thing is going to be hemp seed, which is full of omega-3, which is helping to nourish the follicle, nourish the scalp, and also strengthen the follicle as well. And then pumpkin seed oil, as you know, naturally has a DHT blocker, so it helps to reduce excessive hair loss when it comes to menopausal women, even men as well, like reducing androgenic alopecia. But it also contains a lot of zinc 
as well, which is known for strengthening the follicles. And the last scalp detox method I want to mention is for those who have dandruff. And I mentioned earlier how dandruff is really tied to a fungal growth, which is Malaysia, which is a yeast. And that yeast is typically tied to product buildup and infrequent washing, which throws off the pH of the scalp. So in my opinion, the best ingredient for combating dandruff on a natural side is going to be apple cider vinegar. And that's going to help to kill off that yeast while keeping the good bacteria on your scalp. Tea tree oil is the same thing, killing off that malacia, like decreasing it so that your good bacteria can grow and that dandruff can cease. And of course, aloe vera juice, aloe vera gel is very anti-inflammatory. It's going to help to reduce any inflammation or irritation tied to dandruff. So overall, if you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot of great information, of course, if you like this video, be sure to like this video and then stay in the loop for more Curly Chemistry content, hit that subscribe button. Make sure notification bell is on to stay in the loop for the next video. And of course, I do have a question for you. What is your current scalp routine? What are you currently using or doing for your scalp? And if you don't have a scalp routine, based off of this video, what are some things you're gonna to start to implement into your scalp care regimen? Okay, whatever it is, comment below and I can't wait to see your responses. Once again, for the hydrating herbal hair tea rinse for your scalp health, I'll post that link below for you. That has been a game changer for so many women, especially for hydrating and detangling on your wash day, and of course, moisture in between your wash days as well. And for all things curly chemistry, ebooks, one on one hair care coaching, starting a hair care line, I'll have all the links below as well in the description box. All right, guys, I love you so much, and I'll talk to you guys soon.